I'm Maddie. And I'm Ashton. And this is NAC News. study hall episode I don't even know this week we have a special episode we're gonna be asking each other some questions we've never done this before let's get right into it let's smack a lack and mason I'll go first all right go ahead how would you describe your experience in NAC news and history through media I mean I would say it's a pretty good uh credit so <laughs> pretty good credit uh it's a pretty fun class you know you get to kind of be a little you know, what you want to do with it you know kind of get to do what you want you know mm-hmm. the holes are made <laughs> okay what about you what do you think about this class i think this class is also let's get great for your credit for your history you're gonna take it your junior year and i think you just have a lot of freedom really choose what you want to do. Mm-hmm. It's not just a sign. you got to do this every week. Mm-hmm. What do you think uh, what do you think your best memory is in this class? My best memory in this class was probably, you know, it's kind of hard to decide, you know. you got a lot, mm-hmm. of, a lot of good memories that are made in that class, like um, making some different fun stories and the basket and the hype videos and the, mm-hmm. everything. Being with your friends, making some fun videos, that's how it goes. What, 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 what would you say? I would say <laughs> my favorite moment is when we came up with the idea of NAC News. I'm mm-hmm. just kidding. Study Hall. <laughs> this is one of our, I think, our best part of NAC News. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways. Next question here. Next well, question I've got here. it. I, I got it. I got a question. You know what? You get it. Okay, I got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. How would you say, because you're in track, mm-hmm. how would you say your season's starting off here? Not too fast and not too slow. Yep. That would beat my record from last year, pole vault. That's all I plan on doing, just going up. You know, it's a metaphor for life. The, pull, the way the pole bends, the more you go up in life. Mm-hmm. The faster you run. You pull up and you vault. The better form you have, the yep. better future you develop. Yep, you vault over that pole, mm-hmm. you do it. Mm-hmm. You get over those boundaries. Yep, you push yourself. You viewers at home, do good in life. If you think it's too high, it's not. Yep, no obstacles too high. Ain't no bound high enough. Okay, all right. Anyways. <laughs> Your wrestling season came to an end a few months back. Yep. How do you think it went? I mean, I think it went pretty well. Um, you know, it was my first time wrestling, so I didn't know a lot of stuff. But it was uh, good being part of the team. Mm-hmm. Got to uh, learn some stuff about wrestling. Started winning some matches. Uh, just glad that the season uh, didn't go too bad. So. I think that's a great way to describe it. Yeah. You know, it's a metaphor for life. <laughs> This is really when you get when you get knocked down, you, gotta you get, get a chance to get again. back up. You don't gotta stay down. You nope. just get back up. You get back up. Keep on going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Next question. Go ahead. Well, I will go ahead, and I think with all these lessons, <laughs> all these questions, and all the Bessies, we should come to our final question. What is your one? One tip you give to students to pass their classes. Honestly, I would say Yeah. 
<laughs> basically, uh, probably study. Study. <laughs> study a lot. What I would say. Do a little quizlet. What I would say. If your class is weighted, focus on the heavier weights, not the lighter weights. If the test is worth more, you do it better. Yeah. If the class is weighted, you don't debate it. You got to do that one. And that's another life lesson. Another life lesson right there. You got to take the bigger things into account. If something small goes wrong. You take that three-point shot, you better make it. If something small goes wrong, <laughs> you got something big right around the corner for you. Yep. Weighted. You weighted. may feel weighted down, but you're, you push yourself back up. Push it back up. Push yourself back up. Uh-huh. And with that, this was the end of episode who in the world knows. Who knows. Of Study Hall. I'm Mason. I'm Carson. Bye. There's a lot this week going on at N.A. Why it doesn't start on that? This week at N.A., many things happened. On Monday, there was an FFA contest at North Nottoway and High School Scholar Bowl at North Harrison. Tuesday, there was High School Baseball at North Platte. Thursday, there was an FFA contest at Trin and a High School Track at North Harrison. And Friday, there was a High School Basketball game at East Atchison. What will there be next week, though? On Saturday, there will be a High School Scholar Bowl tournament. On Monday, there will be an FFA contest at Savannah. High School Scholar Bowl at Poundsburg, and a High School Baseball at South Harrison. Tuesday, there will be a High School Track at North Platte, and Junior High Track at Worth County. Wednesday, there will be High School Basketball at West Platte. Thursday, there will be a High School Track at King City, and an early out. Friday will be the start of Easter break. Did you go to the FFA contest this week? Yes, I did. Kieran and Electra have a story in that. <laughs> On Monday, March 18th, Miss Holt took the FFA chapter to Hopkins for a contest. The contest was smaller than usual and much colder. It was to everyone's surprise when they saw snow falling all the way up north 15 minutes from Iowa and it was snowing. The Soils team wasn't very happy about it since they had to do their contest outside. Everyone placed well for this contest and it helped prepare for them for the next time. The next contest is Thursday, March 21st in Trenton. We wish them luck with the with that bus ride since last year. It was two hours with no heat and it was very cold. Hopefully these team members place well and can be fully prepared for districts coming up soon. After this week is over, the FFA kids will come back Monday for yet another contest. Thursday's contest in it take all the FFA kids since they did not offer certain contests like food science and ag mechanics. The bus will be leaving at 8 a.m. to Savannah High School where all of the contest kids will go. Everyone wish them luck on their last contest before the big one. The final contest will be April 2nd and April 3rd at Northwest. She's a runner, she's a track star. Ben has a story on track. This year at North Andrew, we have a track team with a variety of different types of athletes. We have Isaac Coates, Mason and Esther, Jackson Ritchie, Ben Roller, Bradley Reynes, Cambriel Steeby, Liberty Thompson, and Emory McClintock out this year. We have a deep group of throwers with four participants in Liberty, Emory, Jackson, and Ben. Ben is also doing distance as well as throwing. Mason is pole vaulting. We interviewed Mason to hear his thoughts on the season. First, we asked what he was doing this year, and he said, pole vault. Then we asked what his goals for the season were, and he said, uh, get 12 feet and get first multiple times. Then we asked see if he thought he had a good chance of making a deep postseason push. He said, I think I have an above 50% chance of making a good postseason push. Then we asked what type of adjustments he needed to make to succeed. And he said, I think I just need to make small adjustments to keep improving my vaulting. Then we talked to Coach Han about what coaching has been like this year for him. 
first we asked what his goals were for this season. And he said, my goal is for each one of our athletes to PR and get better than what they did last year. Then we asked what he spent most of his time coaching and he spends most of his time coaching shot put and discus. Then we asked what he was most excited about this year. And he said, He's most excited about the first meet, see how our athletes perform against others. Then we asked what his experience in track was, and he said he did track middle school through high school. And in his senior year, he placed fifth in shot put and fourth in the four by one. In his junior year, he placed seventh at state in shot put. I'm Ashton. And I'm Maddie. And this was NAC News.